I found myself driving down a deserted road in the middle of nowhere on a dark and stormy night. I had taken a wrong turn, and my GPS was not working. The rain intensified, and the wind howled outside. Suddenly, I saw a figure in the middle of the road. I tried to brake, but it was too late. I hit the figure and felt a thud. When I got out of the car, there was no one there. I searched the area with my flashlight, but found no trace of anyone or anything. I continued to drive, my heart pounding. I eventually came upon an old, dilapidated house. It looked abandoned, but there were signs of life. Lights flickered in the windows, and smoke rose from the chimney. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. I tried the handle, and the door creaked open. I stepped inside and was hit with a musty smell. The floors creaked under my feet as I explored the house. In one room, I found a dusty old diary. The entries spoke of strange occurrences in the house, and how the writer felt like they were being watched. As I read on, I heard a creaking sound from upstairs. I slowly climbed the stairs and found myself in a dimly lit hallway. The sound was coming from a room at the end of the hallway. I pushed open the door and saw a figure sitting in a rocking chair. It was an old woman, with a blank stare on her face. I tried to talk to her, but the woman didn't respond. Suddenly, the woman's eyes lit up, and she let out a blood-curdling scream. I ran out of the room, but the house had changed. The walls were covered in strange symbols and the floors were slick with blood. I heard footsteps behind me and turned around to see the figure of a man. He had a twisted grin on his face and was holding a bloody knife. I screamed and ran, but the man followed me, his laughter echoing through the halls. I woke up, drenched in sweat. It was just a dream, I told myself. But as I looked around my room, I saw that everything was covered in the strange symbols from my dream. The door creaked open, and I heard the footsteps again. This time I knew it was not a dream. I froze in fear as the footsteps came closer and closer. The door slowly opened, and a figure emerged from the darkness. It was the same man from my dream, holding the same bloody knife. His twisted grin sent chills down my spine. I backed away, looking for a way to escape, but the man was blocking my path. He slowly approached me, and I could see the madness in his eyes. I begged him to spare me, but he just laughed and raised his knife. Suddenly, there was a loud crash from downstairs. The man turned to look, giving me a chance to run. I dashed past him, down the stairs, and out the door. I ran as fast as I could, not stopping until I reached my car. As I drove away, I looked back at the house. It was still there, but it was no longer dilapidated. It looked new and well-kept, as if it had never been abandoned. I couldn't believe what had just happened. For the next few days, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I started seeing the strange symbols from my dream everywhere I went. I felt like I was going insane. One day I received a letter in the mail. It was from the old woman in the house, thanking me for reading her diary and telling me to be careful. She warned me that the man I saw in my dream was real and that he was still out there, waiting for his next victim. I never went back to that house again, but I always felt like I was being followed. I never knew if it was just my imagination, or if the man from my dream was really out there watching me. The memory of that bone-chilling night still haunts me to this day.